In this video, we'll show you 10 best things to do in Los Angeles. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and share your own Los Angeles experience in the comments below. The suggestions are based on our extremely fun trip to Los Angeles. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 1. Grand Central Market. Grand Central Market is a 30,000 square foot arcade featuring food emporium and retail marketplace in downtown LA. It opened in 1917 and has been operating ever since with a mission to provide Los Angeles with a national caliber eating experience that showcases California's best ingredients, chefs and entrepreneurs. It's a great place to experience the cultures of Los Angeles by simply walking through or even getting something to eat from one of the numerous food vendors. And while you're there, don't miss the Angel's Flight, located right outside the market. With its 298 feet inclined railway, it's supposed to be the world's shortest railway. Number 2. OUE Skyspace LA OUE Skyspace LA is California's tallest open-air observation deck of the iconic US Bank Tower with breathtaking views toward Los Angeles. You can do all sorts of things there, engage with their interactive technology, take a break and have one of their signature cocktails, or, for the brave ones, experience the 45-foot sky slide, a fully enclosed all-glass slide nearly 1,000 feet above downtown LA that gives you an entirely new perspective of the city. Check the description for more information about visiting OUE Skyspace LA. Number 3. Griffith Observatory the observatory overlooking Los Angeles offers excellent views of downtown and Hollywood sign. It features an extensive array of space and science related displays. Admission has been free ever since the observatory opened its doors in 1935. One of the more memorable exhibits is a Tesla coil. The view of the city can be especially exciting at night. Since many people are arriving by car and parking space is limited, expect to spend some time to find parking nearby. Number 4. Hollywood Sign The Hollywood Sign is one of the world's most famous landmarks and a cultural icon overlooking Hollywood. Hollywood is spelled out in 45-foot tall white capital letters and is 352 feet long. The sign was created in 1923 as an advertisement for a local real estate agency and it initially read Hollywood Land. Due to increasing recognition, the sign was left up in its current form instead of being taken down. You can drive near the sign or simply hike to this famous landmark. Number 5. Amusement Parks Los Angeles and its surroundings offer several exciting amusement parks. For example, Disneyland, Universal Studios, etc. We visited Universal Studios Hollywood, which is both a film studio and a theme park. It is one of the oldest and most famous Hollywood film studios still in use. It was initially created to offer tours of the real Universal Studios sets. You can enjoy rides and visit film sets of some of your favorite movies like Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Psycho and many more. Check the description for the list of amusement parks in Los Angeles area. Number 6. Hollywood Walk of Fame the Hollywood Walk of Fame features over 2,600 stars embedded in the sidewalks along Hollywood Boulevard and Vine Street. The stars are permanent public monuments to achievement in the entertainment industry, bearing the names of actors, directors, musicians, producers, fictional characters and others. Do not forget to look for the famous Chinese theater, featuring handprints, footprints and signatures of some of the Hollywood's biggest stars. Number 7. Beverly Hills Originally a Spanish ranch where lima beans were grown, Beverly Hills was incorporated in 1914 by a group of investors who had failed to find oil but found water instead and eventually decided to develop it into a town. Today, Beverly Hills is one of the world's most famous upscale places to live and shop. Visit Rodeo Drive, a famous shopping street with expensive designer stores and small private boutiques. It became immortalized by Julia Roberts' Pretty Woman shopping spree. The area is popular with wealthy shoppers, sunglass-wearing celebrities and tourists hoping to see fashion icons. Number 8. Santa Monica Pier 
The Santa Monica Pier is a large double jointed and over 100 years old pier located at the foot of Colorado Avenue in Santa Monica. Its iconic entrance made the pier popular with both residents and visitors. A sign on the pier marks the end of the legendary American highway Route 66, symbolizing that this road only ended when the sea stood in its way. The pier also contains Pacific Park, a family amusement park with a solar paneled ferris wheel. Since the pier is a very popular tourist spot, expect it can get very crowded. Number 9. Venice Beach Venice is a residential, commercial and recreational beachfront neighborhood. It was founded in 1905 as a seaside resort town. Over the years, it transformed into a free-spirited boardwalk and residential area full of funky shops, imaginative street performers and public art. Rent a scooter or a bike and ride along the Venice Beach, play some sports in one of many public sport areas or simply sit in the sand, watch the waves and enjoy the vibe. If you have time, also visit the Venice canals nearby. The canals were created in the early 1900s to mimic the famous canals in Venice, Italy. By the way, if you enjoy the view of the ocean, you can visit other beaches near Los Angeles. Check the description for the list of interesting beaches in greater Los Angeles area. Number 10. Art and Museums Los Angeles is a perfect destination for art lovers. Some of the world-class museums include Los Angeles County Museum of Art with famous urban light assemblage sculpture composed of 202 street lamps, John Paul Getty Museum and nearby Getty Villa and many more. Check the description for links to interesting museums in Los Angeles. Additionally, Los Angeles is home and a creative hub to numerous artists and small galleries. We visited Randy and his sculpture Phantasma Gloria. It was an amazing experience to hear him talk passionately about his art. Go visit Randyland if you're ever in Los Angeles. We created Google Maps with all the suggestions. Links are in the description. Do you have a favorite place in Los Angeles? Share it in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.